Hello, my friends. It is time to make friends with gobbies. Okay. Well, technically the expansion plans have been completed, but sh we're, we're kind of earlier in the timeline here, so you don't really know that. Well, of course it would work because you guys haven't been back here since. So, um, little confession to make. I never thought about the significance of that term. And it probably doesn't help that I'm a stupid American. So, a couple months ago, I randomly decided to look that up because I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Not realizing knots and crosses is fucking tic-tac-toe. Yeah, needless to say, I, purely, I felt really fucking stupid. But nobody around here refers to this or that. Nor does anyone refer to an O or a Null as a knot. Like, I, 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 I get the connection and everything like that. But that's not the terminology people around here my kind actually fucking use. So, needless to say, I was very confused. Now, give me five damn minutes. Because now I'm going to type this stupid phrase in the stupid, uh, in the chat box. And, oh my god. There we go. And he just like, bleh, and just dies. I have to say, though, good on the Charlanes for actually having, you know, like, an emergency shutdown phrase. Though, though I'm going to have to assume that, um, if they actually played the traditional knots and crosses, they may have had to refer to it as something different. Because can you imagine, like, children, like, playing? It's like, oh, you want to play knots and crosses in the fucking dirt? And, like, just all the golems around would just, like, suddenly collapse. And the parents would be like, damn it! <laughs> oh. Don't mind me too easily, Moose. Hooray! I've done my job. So I drive my giant mana cutter back. I don't know how I pulled this thing out of my butt, but whatever. I usually hate driving this thing because it's just so big, but I'm not going far. Nor am I clipping it and everything, so. I can suffer. This is like the behemoth mount for me. It's way too big and way too slow moving. see that? Like, what the hell, game? Don't tease me like that. Okay, now let's fast forward in the timeline. Okay, so you guys don't say anything different yet. Okay, so we got the golems down. Are we friends yet? Well, citizens yet, I guess I should say. Okay. Yes, we are friends. Friends help friends. So, yeah, um, I don't think they really ever mentioned it in a room of Born proper, but yeah, as he said, the Illuminati are kind of the, the nasty mercenary-ish goblins, I guess we should say. And we did have a previous encounter with them in the dungeon Brayflock's uh, long stop hard mode, where the Illuminati go after her, like, take over her home, start wrecking shit, because they want her cheese recipe. And no, I'm not kidding. So we get a way to go here. So I'll meet you guys over there while we pick up this Aether Current quest along the way. Wait, what? What? The gubby we have to help is Preflux? Well, okay 
then. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, Slowfix, you also didn't say the name of the one we want we needed to seek out and help. For all we know, we could end up helping one of the Illuminati. Hello, old friend. Uh, bra bra no, 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 Bray Fox, no, 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 you're getting the wrong idea here. Uh, no, it's technically not Illuminati held territory. Free space for all Gubby Flock, remember? Yeah, you tell them. Cheese for all. Man, you guys are really upset over a fucking cheese recipe. Right now, it's time to kick some ass! Alright, so come at me, bros. Yeah, I'm half cheating because I have Protect on right now because I needed it for the stupidity of the current quest, but we're not even gonna heal ourselves anyway. I'll be fine, though. Oh, you wanna come at me, bro? Fine. See, this time I'll actually be smart and fucking charge early. And if you notice, Alphano actually didn't, like, wait to actually summon his stupid carbuncle. Finally. He's, he's, he's finally figuring this out, guys. Alright, I'll get rid of this stupid goblin first because he's annoying. Tremble before we're a light bitch. Alright, so we need to make ourselves a same shape space over here. We're just gonna go in the corner and let everyone else suffer. Sounds good to me. Okay, if these bombs would blow up sometime this evening, that would be nice. Thank you. These Chola will be fine. There's like four of them. Like, for real. We can handle ourselves. Oh, you're gonna invoke a spell. Yeah, that's what we've all been doing. Get with the program here, Yustola. We're all a bunch of casters here. And funny how you're not really healing me, but the other one is. Do you not see a problem with this, Yustola? You do realize that the Gobwalker is literally right the fuck on top of you, and no, I did not plan to do that. Ha! Yeah, yeah, great. Can you hurry it up, Ishola? There's even more of them now. And why is my fucking PS4 keyboard thing on there? Oh my god. Okay. There we go. I had to grab my phone to get it off there. That's the third time it's done that. Like, it just started doing that. I apologize for that, guys. That was not intentional. I don't know idea why it's doing that all of a sudden. It's never done that before.
All right, let's just get rid of the stupid thing and end the stupid trial. Cause I'm not sitting here for five minutes to lose it, only to try it again like it had to do with the other last ones. Did I get Ruby Carbuncle killed? That would be utter utterly hilarious. No, I want to get this out of the way. No, this thing right here. Thank you. And this thing. And that one. See, we're fine. And I get hit by one of them. I really think I got Ruby Carmichael killed. Huh, that's funny. Also doesn't help my cat is like sleeping on my foot right now, so I'm not exactly comfortable at the moment. Ugh. Die already, please. I love how you stole this tank in this damn thing. That's how I find that money. And now she's gonna stand in the AoEs like a schmuck. Okay, Gobwalker's dead. No hope for you this time. And damn it, Shroud, will you hurry up and come back on? I'm running out of MP over here. I still don't know what to stop sucking at DPSing. We might get, actually get through this faster. Yeah, notice how we're like not even bothering to like protect bright blocks. We're just like sitting here chucking rocks at things. I've never actually lost this trial before, so I have no idea how, how easy it is to lose. Uh, yeah, well, we only we can only assume that she was Slowfix's friend that we needed to help. <laughs> yes, let us return. And do I have any more Aether Current quests that are active? No, so we're just gonna teleport right to the city. Hooray! But yeah, don't sell yourself short there, Alfie. I mean, seriously. D do we? I don't think we need to go into the fact that w what we've done again, because I've reiterated this enough in the past thirty-something episodes. All right, dude. She's also older than you. Okay, she's had a little bit more experience. It's fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, you still look. We're not talking about that right now, okay? Citizens of Idleshire, okay? Crossing River. Speaking to Old Master. Stay focused here. actually not that upset about that because we wouldn't have had really opportunity to really um meant get um mention that hey we're friends with the goblin and e even so like 
it's not like we had to do that much to become citizens of the city anyway. I mean, we deactivated a bunch of goblins, and then we did this as a favor. You know? It's not like he made us jump through hoops. It was, oh, you guys know how to deactivate these goblins? Can you please deactivate these goblins, please? Okay, your citizens were cool now. Like, that was like the easiest thing ever. Slowfix is such a bro. Bye, Slowfix. Thanks for making friends. My first current quests, all that good crap. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care, don't care, don't care. So yeah, the way to cross the river is literally go over here. See, you can see the broken bridge in the background there. And you're supposed to actually technically kind of come across it. Um, but as you probably saw, it is very easy to miss. There actually used to be an Aether Current on there. Um, it actually still might be on the other side. Where the bridge is supposed to connect. But yeah, th that's how you're supposed to know that the bridge is broken and that you can't cross. Oh, I should have talked to those other two, but whatever. So why is this even barricaded up in the first place? I mean, even if this was collateral damage from... Yeah, the bombs were placed at 30 seconds ago, okay? We should have seen this. Plus, they're goblins. I mean, it is a funny moment, though. But even if this is just collateral damage that's been here for a while, like, number one, why didn't they clear it beforehand? And number two, like, they knew we needed to cross the river. Did they, like, oh, yeah, someone finally wants to cross the river for once. I guess we gotta blow this shit up now. I mean, I know it's just supposed to be a funny flavor moment, but they could have had a line or two of dialogue explaining why they had to do this in the first place. But again, that's just me. That's just me. Yes. Yeah, we kind of already know this. And I think I already have the staff. Yes, I do. I went out and bought it because... Well, I didn't want to suck for the vault. All right, so let's go. Extremely well hidden, huh? See, you still let you know your way around here. So no, we didn't need to find a way to cross the river the second we got here because we didn't know the way to cross the river was fucking busted. I mean, I know I'm kind of harping on about that, but, like, that is just... Laziness in the writing that nobody proofread and caught that. Because all they had to do somewhere was, let's go over here, realize the river is broken, or force the path. I mean, part of it, too, is they moved the Aether Currents, because I think once you, uh, once they moved them, that created more of the problem by not allowing the players to very obviously see it before they got to the destination point, but this still doesn't explain the fact that that we were looking for a way to cross the river before we even knew we needed to find another way to cross the river. Yeah, we're Aether Current hunting because I want don't want to have to go back around because this zone is a pain in the ass if you don't have the power of flight because that is indeed the only way to cross the river. So we have two different ways to we can go here. 
Uh, we need to go up the bridge, but what we want is down here underneath it into the caves, marshes, whatever the hell you want to call it. Where there is a funny little wooden path. Gee. I wonder if somebody lives down here. Stupid frogs, get away from me! And look at here, we have well tended and fenced in crops. Alright, where's this damn Aether current? It's literally like right here, isn't it? So, yeah, Yashola, very hidden place, huh? Yeah, I mean, I can understand that you may not think that somebody lives down here, but once you're actually down here, it is very obvious somebody lives down here. What do you mean I seem unconvinced? No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm flat out fucking telling you that, yes, it's very obvious that considering this is where we are in this path and well-tended crops, that she lives here. Alright, you stole it. Do we have to troll me? I mean, you know your master lives here. You're acquainted with her. Okay? You're like trolling me. Hee 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 hee. Hell, there's probably guardians. Why don't you go over there and touch the wall? Ah, oh, type your shit, you stole it right now. Archbishop, as is law. Ally on secrets. Probably up to no good. Actually switch that to definitely up to no good. Yeah. Don't have time for anybody's crap. We need to get this ramp built and get our asses in there. Or else I'm gonna ram my staff up your orifice. Yeah, thanks for your help in that, by the way. You know it's rude to enter without knocking. <laughs> Blame Yosef today. No manners at all. Yeah, we did kind of barge in here, didn't we? I mean, not that we don't do that to everybody else, but shh. We're trying to make friends here. Though we neglected to knock, we did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Yeah, <laughs> you're not funny. Heavy-handed as ever, I see. And still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. Uh, hi, I'm the Warrior of Light. I don't believe we've to met credit before. where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. I believe introductions are in order. Hi. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. The one there in the fancy duds. That's Louis Soir's granddaughter, I take it. Okay, now you're not funny. <clears throat> Grandson, begging your pardons. You knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? Ha! We were constantly at each other's throats. Like rabid dogs we were. <laughs> oh, he was our stubborn bugger, was your grandfather. <laughs> Never a dull moment when he was around, though, I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teat. And my sister too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady? Yeah, do you even know my name? Or do you remember? Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth you didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eosia to flirt with a wrinkly old woman. Now out with it. What is it you need of me? Well, she pulls no punches. Uh, hi, Warrior of Light. I don't believe we've met. Huh? 
talking shit about manners. How about a proper introduction over here? As is love. I never thought I'd hear that name again. You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. The Alagon set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soir and I often talked about it. So why is it that the rest of us had no idea what it was until we got the key and like ran straight into it and we're like, oh, that's what it is. I mean, our, our info dump on it was from Vanu. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings such as primals and dragons. And find ways it did to frightening ones. Yeah, we've had a little experience with that already, but shh. Such secrets as lie buried on Azizla aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Yeah. Thus, time is of the essence. Can you help us or not, Matoya? Indeed. And to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then. Truly. I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred No, it's probably more likely that we, she knows we're not going to leave her alone until we get what she wants. Thus, it's in her best interest to help us so we can get the fuck out of her way. Ah, some things never change. One day, that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hi, Froggy. All right, all right. So, yes, yes, this is Matoya from Final Fantasy 1. Yes, we know this whole place is such an expository info dump. And Phantom Wank. I'm gonna pick this up before I forget about it. But yes, these are backward talking brooms. You trying to tell me something there that is like cheap romance novels or vice or something like that? It's okay if it is. Yeah, well that explains the stick up your ass, Estola. Alright, so hurry up and play this cutscene so I can end this episode and get to the next dungeon already. It was some um, 50 years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilthabad under its rule. Faced with a threat of invasion, the people of Charlian scrambled about for a means to resist the Empire. For my part, I was tasked with developing an etheric converger. Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. But as my research neared its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. Oh, she seems so mad about this. After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research, lest the dunder-headed ingrates reap any benefit. <laughs> Petty, I know, but gods, it was satisfying. Why do I have the feeling that little falling out um, probably ended up resulting in like a massive nerd equivalent of a bar fight? Just a hunch. Do mine ears deceive? It was you, was it not, who was so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind, that how it is used depends on us. I don't remember. Perhaps. All right, yes. That was a pet phrase of mine. 
And that should give you a notion of how sick and tired I was of those spineless wretches of the Forum. All talk and no trousers, that lot. That's why I decided to remain behind, rather than join the Exodus. Yeah, but you're kind of lonely here, aren't you? You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. Now, Alphado, you need to learn a lot about friendship because it's very obvious that they were kind of the best friends who sit there and fucking argue all day but are still kind of just best friends. I have a few of them. Yeah. With respect, Master, the fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the etheric converger? I, I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But you'll have to fetch it from the forbidden section of the great library. Forbidden sections of great libraries? Oh, this is right up my alley. Oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. Um, wouldn't they have like a deactivation or failsafe phrase, kind of like the golems? Something? Not so fast, you lot. Stoll and the boy are staying with me. What? I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. They'll be bored and lodging, don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. Oh shit, she ain't giving you no favors without anything in return. Oh, this is the price of making friends. We'll do it. Do it. I would totally do it. Alright, hurry, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, you already said that. And you already said that. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, you're gonna give me shit about introducing myself? Hello, do you even know my name? Hi. Well, thankfully you don't talk backwards. Hooray! Okay, now we actually have to hurry up and get there. I know this recording is going on so damn long, but... I'd rather not have like a five minute one immediately after this. So here we are at last, at the Great Google Library. This thing is huge. Alright. Like, seriously. Holy cow. How long did it take y'all to build this thing? Well, do we know what section of the library we need to find this book in? What is the title? Well, we know it's in the forbidden section, but this thing is huge. How big is the forbidden section? Oh, well. Right, we're we're going to assume that she just imparted this knowledge, and it's not just it's just not important for the player itself to know. I'll, I'll give it that. So, sorry for the length of this one. I really just wanted to unlock this so I can get this dungeon done next time. So, thank you for watching, my friends. And let us go get ourselves some knowledge in the next time.